Alpha Houston on Space to Ground 1 for Don. Um, we're ready for your downlink. Okay, I'm going to hit play. <laughs> I'm Don Pettit. I was fortunate enough to be science officer on Expedition 6 to the International Space Station. And during this expedition, we had several kinds of science that we did. We did programmatic science, which is well-planned and well-thought-out science. It comes up from the ground and is orchestrated from the ground. And then we have science of opportunity. And this is science that is done at the discretion of the scientists on board space station. And this is kind of the discovery science. And during our mission, we called our science of opportunity Saturday morning science. We have these really nice space watches that are issued to us that we can take on orbit. And these are really nice watches, and they're an inventoried item, so shortly before launch, you're issued one of these watches, and then you might be on the ground for maybe five or ten minutes before somebody comes up and pulls it off your wrist. So they have pretty tight control on these watches, and they're, they're really nice because they have some features on them which are uh, catered to an orbital environment. Uh, unfortunately, my watch broke while we were on orbit, and you don't want to be on space station without a watch. So I decided, let's take this watch apart and see if we can't fix it. And, and so the result in uh, Saturday Morning Science shows how you take your wristwatch apart and fix it in a weightless environment. And I've I had some experience doing watch repair. I used to fix my watches as a kid. I could put a hairspring in a watch. And so I figured I could go ahead. I, I was qualified to do that, uh, to try to figure out how to do it on, on orbit. But there's also more to this story than just fixing your watch. It demonstrates that you can do sort of the, the epitome of fine repair work. You can do that in a weightless environment in a way where you aren't scattering parts all over. You can keep track of Thades and you can put it back together and we'll see whether it works or not. Uh, and and this, this little demonstration that, that I downlinked uh, actually changed some folks' mind in terms of allowing more detailed repair work on space station. Uh, taking things apart that weren't ever really intended to take apart but had broken anyway. And, and this showed that that we, we can do that level of repair work on space. So anyway, with, without any more ado, let's uh, roll the video here where we're fixing the watch. And here we see the watch, the button had fallen off and you saw the button was missing. And there's the stem, it broke. And, and again, this is a watch that requires the stem in order to control the major function. And the button fell off and it was lost for about three weeks. And then I found it stuck to a ventilator grill and it's there in that little Ziploc baggie. So once I had all the parts, I figured we could go ahead, take the watch further apart, and see if we can't fix it. So here we are screwing the back off, and it's held in place by about 16 of these little tiny screws. And you can see, even in a weightless environment, you can just kind of pop the screws off, and they float up slowly. You grab them with your fingers, and then you stick them on your workbench. And here we see the back floating off, which is actually quite a, a pleasant way. It's a user-friendly way to take something apart. It has all these little pieces. And here we're popping the battery out. And whoops, it went flying off, but we, we captured it later. And there the guts of the watch just kind of float up. And you can handle a precision thing like that with uh, not a, a lot of force. So it, it actually, there's some advantage to fixing your watch in, in a weightless environment. And here I'm putting the button back on. It was held in place with a screw that goes in from the inside, which had come loose. And we're using, you can see, we're using the proper tools. If you don't have the proper tools to fix your watch, you use what you got. And, and there is my pocket pliers of putting that screw back in place.
And now we have to take the watch further apart to get down to the mechanisms that hold the crown in place. And here we are down to the, the actual watch mechanism. There's a little crown, it was broken. And this kind of shows the workbench area with a piece of a double sticky tape holding everything in place. And there's this watch, it's just an engineering marvel, all the fancy engine turning, uh, all the little jewels showing on the watch. And here's, here's the workbench showing the battery and all the little screws stuck to tape. And we've, we've got it fixed now, we've got the crown fixed, we're putting it back together. There's the guts going back in the watch case. Here's the battery going in. You don't like to touch the battery with your fingers because the fingerprint uh, adds corrosion, so you kind of wipe it off with a little rag as you're putting it in. And here's the watch, all fixed up, a tell in time, uh, and we're all ready to go. And after I got this done, I, I was able to look at my watch and I could see that it was time for dinner. So uh, we went down to the service module and, and had dinner. And Houston Alpha, that's it for our Saturday morning science.